Now we've decided that the existing default naming and location for our cloud shell isn't what we're looking for and we want to clean it up a bit. Now this is easy to do from the Azure portal. We'll start by launching cloud shell and then give it a moment to start up. All right, now that cloud shell is launched, we'll view our current storage account by entering get cloud drive. And looking under name, we can see our randomly generated name under file share name. We also see a randomly generated file share name. And our resource group is called Cloud Shell Storage West US. Now, none of these settings are really what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and create it the way we want it. So the first thing we'll need to do is unmount the current storage account so that it's no longer associated with Cloud Shell. All we need to do is enter the command dismount cloud drive. Now we're warned that this action will terminate our current session and that we'll be prompted to create and mount a new file share on our next session. So we'll choose yes to confirm and that dismounts our storage account. Now to start the process of setting up Cloud Shell storage the way we want it, we'll start by clicking on Reconnect. Now from here we're given a choice between Bash and PowerShell, and as I'm more familiar with PowerShell, that's the shell I'm going to choose. Now we get prompted that we don't have any storage mounted. Not a problem. In fact, we did that on purpose. So our first step will be to click on Show Advanced Settings, and this will allow us to specify where we want our storage and what we want to call it. So let's walk through the settings. First up is our subscription. Now, as I only have the Pay As You Go subscription, I think I'll stick with that. Now, second, we need to choose a region. Now, not all regions are available for Cloud Shell storage. And now, I would normally choose Canada Central, as that's the region closest to me, but it's unavailable for Cloud Shell. So I'll choose the next closest, West US. Now, next up is the resource group. We'll want to choose a resource group that makes sense for our management needs. In this case, I'm going to choose TechSnips Demo. This way I'll know that any resources placed here are for demo purposes. Now under Storage Account, we can either choose an existing account or create a new account. Now as we're looking to create a custom storage account and replace the default one, we're going to choose Create New and name it TS Cloud Shell Storage Demo. Now finally, under File Share, we'll leave it on Create New, as we cannot select Use Existing if the storage account was selected as Create New. So, we'll name this Share TS Cloud Share Demo, and then we can click on Create Storage. Now, this is only going to take a few moments to create, so there won't be time to grab a coffee. Sorry, no caffeine for you. Well, now that our storage account has been created, and we're logged in successfully, we'll run get cloud drive one more time to verify that our storage account has been created successfully. And it has. The naming looks much better now. If you look at file share name, name, and resource group name. Well, the only thing left to do is remove the existing storage account and resource group. And we can actually do this in one step, provided our storage account is the only resource in the resource group. So let's shrink down our cloud shell window, and we'll go over to resource groups in the navigation pane and then click on the old resource group cloud shell storage west us now from here we click on delete resource group to remove our resource group and then to confirm we need to enter the name of our resource group so cloud shell storage west us and as you can see our storage account is the only resource in this resource group so we can go ahead and click delete and give that a few moments to run. Now this nicely highlights one of the features of resource groups, managing all of the contained resources as a single object. This allowed us to delete both the storage account and the resource group in one step. Now with our new storage account created, Cloud Shell attached to its new storage account, and our old storage account deleted, I'd say we're ready to go. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.